Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Caitlin Walters and this is Space Place in Southern Grace. Today I am coming to you with a vlog from my house. I'm just sitting down getting ready to do a little bit of makeup. But today I am having my Bissell Crosswave delivered from Walmart. This is not sponsored anyway. I just ordered it for myself after Christmas because your girl needs some help cleaning her floors. I'm gonna take you along with me as I try it out for the first time as it arrives and we'll see if all the internet hype is really, really worth it. So let's go. <laughs> I'm back, I threw a little makeup on my face, and you know what, my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer I hadn't used since summer, and it's way too dark for me this time of year, but you know what, that's okay, because this video is not about how great my face looks, it's about how great my floors look. So while I was putting my makeup on, the FedEx man delivered a package, which I'm really hoping is my crossway, so let's go see if that's what it is. And let's see. Can I do this one handed? Looks like the guy did too. So we'll use his finger. Good job. Uh, oh no. All right, we're back in action. Here she is. She's in the box. I'm guessing it's collapsible because I would imagine the vacuum is taller than this. Yeah, let's open her up. I got my little dude set up here. He's pretty lightweight. I mean, I can lift him with one hand, kind of no problem. Um, it was super intuitive to set up. I didn't look at any instructions really to put it together. It really was just three or four pieces that snapped together and make total sense. But what is the hype of the Bissell Crossway? So I've been seeing this on Facebook, on YouTube, across the internet for a couple months now. And I saw it for, I think, $400 or $450 a while ago, and I was kind of like, eh, I'm not sure I need that. But we have been a Swiffer Wet household for about two years now, and since we got our Golden Noodle Puppy in October 2019, our floors and our house has just been complete chaos and a mess. So Frank brings in mud, he brings in leaves, and he tracks it all through our beautiful wood or faux wood flooring, and there's puppy paw prints all over the place. And I feel extremely wasteful using Swiffer Wet because you basically dispose of the pads every time you use them. And so it's an unnecessary waste, it's a necessary expense to buy that often. And I feel like this is more sustainable to have a system that actually steam cleans and vacuums at the same time. So instead of dry brooming the entire kitchen, living room, dining area, and then Swiffering, I can actually do it in one step now, hopefully with this guy. You use this multi-surface Bissell cleaner that we also use, it's the same one that we use for our handheld upholstery cleaner that we use for the couches and ottoman and things like that in case the dogs get mud or anything on them there. But this is diluted with water. You just put it in the back container right here and then it's two tank system. So the two tank, one is clean, one is dirty. It looks like to eject it, you just push one button and the whole bottom container comes out, which is dirty water. And then there's a filter up here, which the directions say that you actually rinse it under hot water and then let it dry in the sun when you're ready to clean the filter. Um, I'm guessing that it can be replaced at some point too if it gets super disgusting. But I mean, other than pouring out the dirty water here, there really isn't much more to it that I can tell. So I'm hopeful to give it a go and see if the hype is real. So let's give it a try. Okay, full disclosure here, our floors haven't been cleaned in almost two weeks because of the holidays and we've just been really busy. But I will say that typically I Swiffer and spot clean every week, if not every few days, especially when it's rainy or snowy outside because the dogs make a dang mess of everything in our house. So I'm hoping to run this like once a week, but like I said, because this hasn't been run in two weeks, our floors are really dirty right now. I'll see if I can show you, let's see. Hi Winston. I don't know if you can see it in the sunlight right there, but there's some pretty big footprints all through here. 
high traffic areas all the way to the back door. There's our little Bissell upholstery cleaner. I was using it yesterday. But yeah, this is a high traffic area for us. And honestly, it's really, really hard for us to keep it clean with dogs. And we also wear our shoes inside, which we probably shouldn't, but you know, we're human. So let's start with just the kitchen area. I'm gonna put the cleaner solution in there and I'm gonna do a sweep from clean water and we'll see how dirty it gets. See if my floors feel clean and like it's worth the investment. You can see there are two areas. It says for small area and large area, we're filling it up to the tall line. For a large area, water here, formula here. That way we can cover most of our floors with this, hopefully. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there is a ton of water on the floor. It looks clean, and this looks very dirty, what's in here, but it did not suck it all up. So I think I'm doing something wrong. So let's give it another go, and maybe I'll read the instructions this time. So it looks like it used all the clean water already, and the dirty water filled up and was actually like kind of pouring back out onto the floor, which is not good. But I just did that little area, and it's very dirty from what you can tell. Um, it used the solution really fast, so hopefully it doesn't go that fast every time. But the filter is already a little bit dirty, but I'm guessing it will wash out clean in the sink pretty easily. So I'm going to try and refill it back up and see what I can do to do the rest of the kitchen. Okay, we have a special guest joining us who interrupted my cleaning session to make a sandwich, but he also figured out the problem with the vacuum. I had not screwed on the lid completely right, so therefore all of the solution was just leaking out the bottom. So we're gonna try it again, round two, and hopefully I'll get more surface area with the same bottle so we don't go through a ton of the solution. So I'm back after the second try, which I'm feeling a little bit better this time because I cleaned pretty much the whole kitchen area and there's only a little bit of water solution gone from the clean tank and there is dirty water in the dirty tank. So I'm feeling good about what it picked up, but there are still some puppy footprints that I can see um, in the light by the pantry door. So I think I'm gonna have to go back over those and use a little bit more water that you dispense from the actual handle of the crosswave. And I think that'll eventually get them up. Um, it's not really a true steam mop because I don't think there's actually heat involved. It's just scrubbing brushes and bristles with a vacuum power. So I don't think it's kind of melting those set in paw prints or stains in your on your wood. Um, Overall, the vacuum setting did all right. There are some crumbs and some like loose strings that it did pick up, but there's still some stuff that it left behind that I can tell by the refrigerator in the pantry. So I think I'd probably want to either dry broom or quickly sweep the surface before I used this, um, just because I feel like it's more handy for getting the stains and the, the wet messes rather than the actual large pieces that are on your floor. I think that's better suited for a tree vacuum, but you can take a look. Okay, so you can see here the clean tank. I only used that much in the section that I just did that I filmed and the dirty tank down here, you can see that it did collect some dirty water, but it's really low. It's actually only down to right here. So um, it can go all the way up to here without being uh, full and even that's when it'll need to be emptied. But you can already see that these brushes right here already show dirt in there. Um, it does make it easy to clean this off. You can pull this section off and actually wash these brushes, which is handy. Uh, that cuts down the waste, and I'm sure you could buy a replacement part if you needed to. One other fun feature that I will mention about the Bissell Crosswave is that it comes with this tray that you can actually sit the Crosswave in when you're not using it because I believe it will continue to kind of drain and leak liquid. Um, you can see that the brussels are very dirty and they're probably wet because I use them on my entire floor. I think I will probably, after each like full use on my carpet, actually pull this out and clean off the brushes because there will be some hair trapped under there as well, making sure I clean out the dirty water every time because that's gross. But this tray essentially will catch that. Again, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing in your house, but it will prevent it from leaking all of your floors wherever you plan to store it. All right, I'm back. This is like take three on giving our new friend the Bissell Crosswave a go. And okay, I feel like I got a good handle on it now. I spent the last like 20 minutes cleaning. 
our space. Um, most of our house, our house is 2,200 square feet and almost all of the rooms have this like faux wood in it that you can see kind of behind me in our kitchen all through the living areas and the dining areas. The only rooms that do not have this are the bedrooms, which are high carpet. And thinking about how successful the Bissell Crossway was at cleaning my floors, knowing that we have dogs, we cook a lot, we make messes, we do not mop or vacuum every single day. I think it did a pretty good job. Hands down, it was easier than Swiffer, which is a huge upgrade for us because we have been using Swiffer for so long. And Swiffer Wet, like I said, is wasteful and there's a lot involved to have to constantly change the pad when it dries up because I can't get more than like the small kitchen area in one of those Swiffer um, wet wipes that you actually put in the handle that you actually put on the, the broom itself. So ultimately I paid $229 at Walmart online for this Bissell Crosswave. Um, I'm not sure which model this is. This says it's just the all-in-one surface cleaner. I think there is a higher model that's like specific for pet or intense um, spills, but honestly, I would not have paid any more. I think that three, four hundred dollar price tag is ridiculous and that you could do just as well with some kind of like non-name brand steam mop or just a traditional mop in your house if you've got hard floors. This thing is extremely lightweight. In, in terms of like ease of use category, I think I give it like an eight or nine out of 10 because the setup was super easy, came out of the box. Each time that you actually want to fill it up with clean liquid and empty the dirty liquid, I mean, it's essentially two clicks. You pull the clean out here, you eject the dirty out here, this is what I got from the last sweep across my house. It's pretty funky in there, I'm not gonna lie. And like I said, it hadn't been cleaned in a while, so just keep that in mind. But something that I think is important to notice is that it suggested that you pour this down the sink. That's what it shows you in the instructions. But there are a lot of chunks in here. There's a lot of hair, a lot of big pieces because it is a vacuum too. We do not have a garbage disposal in our kitchen. It's not a feature of our old house. And so that's something to be really mindful about if you are going to get this and be putting like actual chunks of things down your sink you might actually have to strain it and put those chunks in the trash can or sweep your room first just so there aren't any big pieces or leaves or anything that get in your cross wave in terms of how well it cleaned our floors i will say it's probably like a six out of ten i don't think it was like oh my gosh the cleanest my floors have ever been it was incredible but it was easy and i appreciate that because this is something we have to do all the time especially in the winter when the dogs are running outside in the mud and coming back inside but yeah i say six out of ten because on the box if you can see right here i'm using this as a stand it shows you that there's like a mom i presume that has spilled cheerios on the floor with her milk and this is like who it's marketed to I'm just here to tell you that the Crosswave is not going to pick that up in one sweep. Like, I don't believe it for a second. Because any of the mud streaks or the spots that were on our floor or paw prints from the dogs, I had to go over several times. It wasn't like a vacuum cleaner where you just push and push and pull back and forth really fast. You get the whole surface really clean. You have to go over it slowly. Anything that's actually like wet or a large surface area or that's like stuck on your floors, you're going to need a lot of water power and you're going to need to actually push and pull back across it several times to get it to come up and to actually lift that stain. I think that it did a good job when I took my time. If I was doing this for speed, I don't think it was my best bet. I actually found a tiny little pea spot by our door that I had missed during the week um, that one of our dogs had had a small accident and so it was a little bit dried and I tried to go over it with this and it still didn't even get it all the way up. I mean, it did a good job for, you know, kind of a quick sweep, but I would have to go over and stand over it several times to really even get it up and then would still probably need to go behind it with like a Clorox wipe or a paper towel, which is not ideal for something that is expensive. Backing up in the ease of use, it's so lightweight and that's something I can appreciate because I'm used to really heavy vacuums or heavy steam cleaners that we use for our rugs or our carpets. This has a rug setting on it. I don't know that I would use this on rugs. I think this is best suited to hard floors because it does go over it very quickly and it's kind of a generic, you know, like, quick clean it's not like a deep clean whereas when we clean our high carpets we're sucking up all kinds of gross stuff and hair and things that have gotten trapped in the deep carpet fibers and i don't think this thing as tiny as it is is equipped to handle things coming out of carpet like that 
So we probably will stick to our other more heavy duty carpet cleaner for our bedrooms and our major area rugs and things like that. But for our living and dining room, I will absolutely continue to use it. I'm not, I don't plan to return it or anything. Again, had it cost more, I don't think it'd be worth the price point, but situated at around $200 was okay for me. I feel like this is a good value. When it comes to the actual solution that you put in it, it did an okay job cleaning the floors and it does smell pretty good. I don't know how much it actually retails for for the full size one since only a mini one came in our box but I'm guessing that you could make a pretty good solution on your own for pretty cheap and kind of store it at your house that way you could mix it with water to dilute it and you would just get equally the same clean it wouldn't cause you any issues and you would save a lot of money doing that as well but I don't know. I'm curious. What do you think about the Bissell Crosswave? Do you feel like it benefit you? Do you feel like it's worth the money? I have also explored the Tinico eye floor, which I actually thought about getting for Christmas as a gift to myself, and they were sold out everywhere. And because I've heard really great things about them, but once I found the one that I wanted, it was actually $299. So I opted for this simple, skinny little Bissell Crosswave because it was about $80 cheaper and said to do about the same job. So. With that being said, I'd love to know what your opinions are and if you think you'll try it out in the future. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you do so. If you love this video, please like and comment and let me know what you'd like to see next time. See you guys later.